Maltini. I am a Boston-based uh, visual multimedia artist, um, and I founded a collective in 2010 called the NCAA, which is the New Craft Artists in Action. And we've been making um, artwork about uh, craft, art, athletics, feminism, public space, social justice, all of these intersections um, since 2010. Uh, we're sort of most known for these colorful uh, handmade basketball nets that we make and put on public, uh, like uh, empty public basketball hoops. But we started also painting basketball courts maybe five years ago or so. Um, this is our fourth um, ba basketball court in Massachusetts and we're doing one in Fall River after this. So far we've done them in um, Dorchester in Boston, Somerville, uh, Salem, now New Bedford, and then Fall River. So we like to activate these, um, these public athletic courts um, in really creative ways that is specific to the local community and environment and we seek a lot of like um, public uh, input mostly by way of the young folks who actually the young people that use the courts um, and we try to create systems for incorporating sort of their language and their visions and their ideas into the court and basically we know that New Bedford is, is Whaling City and has this um, really rich and complicated um, history of, of whaling and we I love that sort of old history and um, keeping it sort of contemporary and also kind of looking back on it with a new perspective and in this case we really wanted to think a bit about the perspective of the whale um, and sort of celebrating the whale and giving the whale um, you know more power <laughs> so um, we have been talking a lot about scale and how you can actually see a basketball court from the sky and some whales are almost the size of a basketball court um, so we kind of have this playful prompt if you can see a basketball court from the sky um, in some ways you can communicate messages like you can see the court um, from as far away in the sky as maybe some whales and sea creatures live down below in the ocean there's so much mystery in the sea there's so much mystery in the sky so we've been saying, uh, what do you think that the whales or the, the deep sea creatures might want to communicate to um, people in the sky? And we've been teaching um, the kids that stop by the, the nautical flag system because, um, you know, before we had other means of communication, boats would communicate messages from very, very far away with very simple imagery and their nautical flags. And there's one flag for every letter of the alphabet. So we've been spelling different messages using the flags and practicing our spelling and practicing our writing through visual language. And um, yeah, basically we have hidden kind of secret messages in the court that we've collaborated with the kids on um, to, to shoot up into the sky. Um, and so far the, the message we've painted um, on the inside of the court actually comes from Moby Dick. Um, there's one short quote uh, it's hard to find a short quote by Herman Melville, but there's this one phrase that says, consider them both the land and the sea, or it might be the sea and the land, but we changed it a little bit and said, consider them both the sea and the sky. Um, and then on the outside, uh, some of the kids wrote, um, what's up, what's down, which is really cool, referencing the sea and the sky as well. And then the sort of iconic phrase, as above, so below. So that is a bit of what we've got going on. And you just see these, these visual motifs um, that kind of reference waves and currents. And we're gonna have clouds on the outside actually in that sort of panoramic um, uh, composition that you see in a lot of old New England painting and in a lot of the, the um, cool houses around here. Um, so there's, you know, we're pulling from the environment a lot as well as the community. Um, and we have an amazing crew of professional artists working on this. So. This is an amazing project being uh, produced by the New Bedford Art Museum and Superflat New Bedford. It's a collaboration and it's being funded by New Bedford's Wicked Cool Places program. It's a grant program for creative placemaking and the Community Foundation of Southeastern Massachusetts, their Creative Commonwealth Public Art Initiative. So I'm very psyched to be here today to see the progress that's happening.